Hi and welcome to MakeLog number 4. I would like to show you some GoPro cases I have made. I have the GoPro camera for about a year now. The standard cases as the skeleton backdoor or the closed backdoor for underwater use were not sufficient. I wanted to charge the camera underwater which was not possible with any standard GoPro case. So I have built my own ones. This one is the case which can be used to charge the camera underwater. An external battery can be connected to the GoPro to charge it while being used, so you can use it for the whole day. I have built a video transmitter into this case, so you can see the live video from the camera. I have made another video just about this case, so you can click here and watch it right now or just watch this video. Now in this video we are gonna have a look at this case. As you can see, I have used the waterproof LCD backdoor. The external connection goes here. Let's have a closer look how this works. So we have the case here. It's a normal case. You see the connection at the back here and inside it is connected to a micro USB cable. The micro USB cable uses four wires. Two wires are for the power supply plus a minus five volts and two wires are for the USB connection. With the USB connections you can access uh, the memory card without opening the case and this makes it much easier. If the camera is wet you just connect the connector and you can access the memory. This is the cable I have made. You see this is the connector that is being used. The connections have got 8 pins, so for this connection just 4 are used. 2 for the power supply and 2 for USB. To fasten the connector just twist it. To open it, just twist it to the other direction, like this. Have a look at the connector at the camera, it's just black, so this is waterproof, there are no open contacts. So we lock this and you see it holds tight. At the other end of the cable we have a normal USB connector. I have attached a, a hard wire to it to protect the cable from being twisted, um, so the connections to the USB uh, can't be ripped off. This is an external battery that can be used to charge the camera. It has a USB connection. So you can switch it on, plug the camera in via the cable and have a look at the camera. Yeah, it's charging. Great! So, the camera can be charged. I was using this constellation for traveling. I had the battery in my backpack and the camera just over my shoulder. I could use the camera at any time and it lasted for the whole day. The only limitation was the size of the SD card used in the camera. So you see, this is a perfect case for traveling by rucksack or whatever, so if you're going in dry areas. There's another case if you want to go diving. So if you want to go diving, you have to take the battery with you. And the battery is not waterproof, as you can see, it's just plastic. I have attached a cable feed through here. And this can be used to put the whole battery into a waterproof case. Let's have a look. I have a case here. This is IP68. And this case is proved to be waterproof until 10 meters. Maybe it's waterproof for more, but this has been tested and succeeded for 10 meters of depth in water. You see, this is all rubber here and you have big screw connections. The whole battery fits inside and you can use the feed through to make a waterproof connection outside. So the battery stays dry and you can take the battery and the camera both underwater with you and go diving. And you can record your whole diving session. But, okay, there's always a but. In this case, you can't charge the battery. The battery charges the camera, but the battery itself can only be charged if you take it out of this hard case. You have to unscrew all the four screws again and uh, disconnect the USB connection and get the battery out and you have to do this every day. So this might get annoying and for this case I have made another cable. It is this cable. It has the same connector as the one I have just showed you. 
you see it can be connected to the camera. And remember, the connections have got 8 pins. So I use additional pins and 2 pins to connect a micro USB connector to the cable. You can see it here. There's the big USB-A connector. This is used for charging the camera. The big one here is used for charging the camera. The small micro USB connector is used to charge the battery. So both are plugged inside the battery. So when both connections are connected, the battery charges the camera via this big USB port and the, the battery is being charged by the smaller USB, by the micro USB port. And how does this work? The battery stays inside the underwater case. Let's have a look here. So the battery is inside the underwater case and we have the camera connected to the battery. So if we, if we want to charge the camera we can switch on the battery and the camera is being charged. We can switch the battery off again and the camera is not charged anymore. So this works. But we want to charge the battery without taking out the battery every time from the big aluminum underwater case. For charging the battery we need this. This has the same connector as the camera and let's open it. Inside I have soldered a USB connector. So this USB connector is connected to other wires than the camera is using. The wires to this charging adapter connect to the mini USB port at the, at the battery. So let's connect the battery. So this USB cable is now used to charge the battery while the battery stays inside the aluminum case. So the battery can stay inside the aluminum case. You don't need to take it out every day. Just connect this USB connector to a charging port and the battery is being charged. When the battery is full you disconnect the charging adapter and connect the camera again and now the camera can be charged by that external battery. And so everything can be used for traveling and it's quite convenient because you don't have to take out the battery out of the case and you don't have to take out the GoPro out of its case. You can access all the pictures and videos by the USB connector. You can leave it inside the, the underwater case. So if you're interested in how the case with the video transmitter works, just click here, have a look at some other videos. I hope you enjoyed it and got some new ideas. Stay tuned and hope to see you again!